the first mistake most people ma make is they say, because I have an idea, it must be a good one. Now, you never know where it's really a good and big and important idea. Luck pays a factor. But really ask yourself, am I pursuing this idea because it's the only one I have or because it's good? And it can be a little bit, it's the only one I have. You know, that is a, an aspect of luck, but that's the first thing. The second thing you'd have to say to yourself, am I prepared to stand by my idea even if it doesn't weather the storm initially very well? Do I believe enough in the power and the opportunities in the general area that I'll stick with it? Because odds are your first idea is going to suck. I mean, that's, that's statistically what's true. I mean, remember, Microsoft was at it probably 11 or 12 years before what we did mattered a super, super amount. The third thing is, are, do you really have an idea for a business or for something cool that nobody will pay for? No, the, look, there's a lot of people who have ideas for something cool that nobody will pay for. And, and you might argue there's even some very large businesses in our industry where it's unproven that anybody will actually pay more, pay enough for them. I mean, there are companies now in our industry that have market capitalizations of 50, 70, 100, 150 billion and make no money. That doesn't make much sense to me, but it, it, but it happens. And you could say, look, I don't really care. If I get a market cap of 50 billion and make no money, count me in, Skipper. It's a good idea, and I, I won't disagree with you. But I think you want to ask yourself, is my idea powerful? Am I willing to stick with it? And do I believe that ideas for a business as opposed to something cool that, you know, either nobody will pay for or nobody's equipped to pay for? Let me give an example. Healthcare technology so far has been very hard to get anybody really to pay for at scale. Everybody knows that healthcare can be revolutionized by information technology, and yet finding ideas that are high scale that people are willing to pay for has been very hard. Education. Education is like the least automated business on the planet. I mean, it's goofy. I was, you know, I've seen blackboards. I was at Harvard a few weeks ago. There's blackboards at Harvard. Not only are there not whiteboards, there's, there's certainly nothing electronic. You know, hey, this, this fella, he's got pencil and paper. I, lo I love you. I love you. I'm not, I'm not trying to give you a hard time. But pencil and paper. You know, the way notes are done, the way classes are done. I don't, you know, there are, I don't understand Oxford education. It sounds really expensive to deliver with the tutors and the whole thing. But at least you're not sitting all the time in these big, stupid lecture halls watching poor lecturers give lectures what you could probably watch online better. But that, that certainly happens in a lot of institutions in a lot of places. Technology isn't being used in those industries because nobody's really willing to pay for it. So you have to ask yourself, do I have a view of how somebody's going to pay for something? Am I willing to stick with it? And is my idea really compelling? That'd probably be the three things I'd put to you.